Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna do a fully guided tour of all of the incredible corals at Aquamarine Aquaristic. All right, thank you for joining me on yet another episode of Parker's Reef. Now today we're heading up to Doncaster in Melbourne, Australia. I'll put some Google Earth footage over the top for you to see exactly where in the world that is right now. And we're gonna visit Jono and the team there at Aquamarine Aquaristic. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, because I have done a number of videos of their store before, these guys are well known for having incredible display tanks and of course, some absolutely to die for coral in their for sale tanks. Now, we're gonna have a quick look at their display tanks today, but next week I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do a deep dive on those display tanks, go over all of the uh, infrastructure around them and talk in some deep detail about the uh, livestock inside of those tanks. And of course, all of the equipment keeping them operational as well as the methodologies that the team use there. But today we're gonna to focus in not just on those incredible high end corals, but the huge, huge number of incredibly cheap coral that Jono has there at Aquamarine Aquaristic. And when I say they're cheap, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are not beautiful because there is some very, very well-priced coral there. And I'm really excited to share this tour with you because if you're anything like me, you're gonna to wanna to take the car up there, back it up and fill that boot right up with heaps and heaps of beautiful corals. So uh, I guess without any further ado, let's go see the man himself, Jono. We'll mic him up and we'll do this fully guided tour of Aquamarine Aquaristic. All right, I am here, Aquamarine Aquaristic. Jono has locked us in, he's locked the doors on this public holiday so he can take us through on a, a guided private tour. We've got two weeks worth of videos here. We've got incredible display tanks at the front of the store here. This showpiece tank and then the newer, even bigger display tank over there, which we will go over a little bit this week, but uh, we'll go into a deep dive next week. But Jono, you've got the shop absolutely chock-a-block ready for uh, all of your customers and of course for this video. Yes, thanks Sam, thank you for coming in again. I guess I'm becoming a bit of a regular yeah, on that's your it. channel. A few Always times love a came visit. over and did my tank. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so we did about 32 boxes last week. Wow. Of coral, we did a little bit of fish before that. We're a bit low on fish now, but um, a lot of SPS before that, which wasn't really for the public, but to fill out our displays <laughs> and for future yeah. frags. So yes. we've got heaps of frags and heaps of coral going on. So Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And just a little uh, sneak peek, you guys are actually planning to go to Fragorama in yep. late May. So yep. um, I know you guys have website and uh, you ship coral all over the country, but for those that are Brisbane locals, they want to see the stock that you guys have, they'll actually be able to come down to the Fragorama show and um, chat to you guys in person and see the stock and not have to deal with uh, pesky uh, couriers or anything like that. They yeah. can get it straight from you. Sometimes the couriers are pretty bad, but yeah, we'll be bringing in you can have a look at our website, you'll get an idea of the frags that we'll be bringing in, but Just Gone is an aqua we'll be doing because yeah, cool. it's, a, a, it's an aquaculture event. Yep, yep, frags um, only. Yeah, so, so I'll, I'll, I've already asked um, the organizers how many frags I can cram into the four foot tank. I think it's <laughs> 366, so I'll be right on the dot and I'll Beautiful. try to put 367 if I can. But, yeah, nice. Well, if anyone's um, watching this video that is gonna go to that show, see something they want, be sure to uh, reach out to the uh, reach out to Jono and the team here and say, hey, make sure you bring one of those gonies or one of those acros so that uh, they can snap it up from you there. But well, that, would um, be, that would be really good if, if you can look at our signature colonies and that and give mm. me an idea of what everyone's looking for. Yeah, yeah, because we're a couple months sure away. I have enough. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, well, enough about the future. Let's talk about the here and now. You've got these display tanks pretty chockers. I said we will go into a deep dive in next week's video, but um, wow, there's no shortage of uh, gonies and SBS in that system at the moment. Yeah, so that's our Gunny and uh, SPS display in there. That one's still quite young. It, it, I don't know if most people remember one of your videos. It was it was an older Acro tank, but yep. we, we've redone it since then and rescaped it. it. So we'll talk about that next week. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, well, lead us in, Jono. Where can we start, mate? Oh, obviously, you got our beautiful Gunnies when you come in. Yeah, um, right at the front door. Have a look at the different color variants in here. Holy moly. With a nice uh, space invader there. That's the signature colony on our website. Yeah, the Space Invader, Invader Pectinia. Every nice branch is being plucked off, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got our Goni. So some signature stuff. We got some uh, our green glitter, so full green glitter. Beautiful. Uh, red glitters, 
Amaze ball gunny. Sensation. Um, this pain in the bum, he actually picks up the gunnies and moves them on me. So if they're in the wrong price point, <laughs> blame old mate. <laughs> we got the what we call Goldie Gonny or Gold Rush Gonny. Yep. Uh, tequila Sunrise, so larger, larger ones. So we got small, medium, and large. Nice. Wow, varieties. Uh, yeah, larger. Well, I guess what we call them standard glitters now. But yeah, um, what I do love about these standard glitters is the banding that you get on them. You get these sort of bands of glitter, which look really cool. It's funny in the states, sell them for six hundred bucks a frag, and here, yeah, right. You know, Hundred bucks, you can have bucks a, a decent here. frag. So Banana pores like and pinks. Yeah. Comparing American dollars to American dollars, like sixty US dollars for a, an Australian hundred dollar frag of that. Yeah, they got a nice name. They call them glitter bomb. Glitter bomb, is, okay. Um, which is a much nicer name. Than <laughs> standard glitter. Stand, yeah, well, you, ne you can never put a premium price tag on something you call standard. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got our blue and green glitter. Yes. Um, which is pretty much similar to the purple and, and green. There's just a variant. Yeah, no, it looks great. Um, some more of them at the back, some more of our standard glitter or glitter bombs, and then we got our smaller tequilas and our reds. Beautiful. Some mixed pinks and stuff like that, yeah. I see you've got no shortage of any of those varieties, really. That tank's chock-a-block, and that's just that tank. Uh, plenty of gonies there. I'll be sure to add some top-down footage of these so you can really see the colours of them because, um, yeah, some of these are sensational. I particularly do love this little section here where, obviously, old mate, the uh, big clownfish, likes to... Uh, keep the tentacles as short as possible, but uh, the color varieties on those are just stunning. They glow in that tank. There's also one purple glitter left, which is oh, very yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. If old mate moves out of the way. <laughs> the clownfish is just absolutely <laughs> camera blocked this, um, but there it is there. What a beautiful piece. Yeah, they are, that's very special. I, I, I think it's more of a pinky purple glitter, but yep. Um, yeah. Does it's the very trick. very nice. Looks very nice indeed. Uh, we got our reef factory. Uh, we do have some more coming in. I think there's a container that's just landed or, or something the boys said. So we'll be topping that up in during the week. Beautiful. Um, All the goods there, base pumps, level sensors, thermo views, pH, dosing pumps, KH keepers, components, filter rollers. Got the lot in there. Yeah, so plumbing. Uh, we also get Fido and Coke pods in there a bit low from after the after the weekend. Yep, yep. But they come in on Friday if anyone wants Coke pods or, or Fido there. They're locked in to come in every week. Yeah, beautiful. Um, our nano display, so you can literally just buy this display without the coral and the fish. We can set it up for you, take it to your house for about a thousand bucks, all all filled up. Yeah, awesome. Um, That's a really cool, uh, yeah, initiative you got there. So you've got yeah. the you got the nano on the counter there, showing what it looks like when it's setting up and running, and then uh, customers come in and say, "I want that." You can literally point them to one behind the counter here, and there's with sand, aquascape ready to go. We can pick it up and set it up in your home. It's so easy, this tank too. Like, yeah. we just water change every couple of weeks, like 20%, yes. we don't dose anything. Yep. Doesn't have a chiller, doesn't have a top up. Yep. Um, sometimes we let it get, you know, until it's running dry. So um, <laughs> soft corals are quite hardy for that. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. And you've got some nice pieces in there too. Look at these uh, nice leathers, cocoa worms, forest fire bubble tips, got some nice fluffy morphs, some nice striped morphs in there. And then I did spot over here, Nice little collection of mini maxi down there. Have a look at this guy. Forest fires, some soft corals. Um, we've got some nice morphs in there that I'll try to grow out. Some of like the orangey golds and orange speckles. Beautiful. Fluffies, which no one can get enough of. Always. They, yeah. These are tube worms. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah. The cocoa worm, so tube worms. Tube worms, cocoa worms. Um, actually, don't see them that often anymore. No. I'm not sure why, but they used to be quite regular about eight ten years ago yeah used to be and collected going everywhere lot. and see them and now, <laughs> now not so much uh frozen food and our, our lucky spin wheel for our customers hey. a little bit of initiative to come in come in on a on a weekend and um we'll give you a spin beautiful and yeah you and, got some uh, cool prizes on some there stuff, some coupons aqua um, frags frag glue yeah. five dollar coupons lucky dips free acro frag yeah beautiful Extra bonus. And how does one qualify to spin the wheel? Ah, uh, just all our customers at the moment. It's something I got going on. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you spend money. You, you get you have to buy something. You've got to buy something, of course. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. buy something, and then you get a free spin, and you get an acro frag or something like that. Yep. Yeah, just yep. A, just a bit of excitement. And, yeah, nice. And some yeah, fun. Yeah. Encourage it. Why not? Now, I know we did say we talked about the display tanks in next week's video, but that's primarily going to be the two displays here. We can include this display here because yeah. you guys have got no shortage of displays. This Euphilia Systems, absolutely cracking. Yeah, so that's a hammer. 
Um, if people know Jacob, the owner of the store, he's a lover of hammers and acro and gonies. Um, but they weren't doing that well in the display with the acro, with all yeah, the flow okay. and everything else. So um, you've got a very gentle display. flow in here. Is this the normal flow, or have you I, turned I've things off? I've turned it off so yeah, okay. you can get some better <laughs> I was footage. Say, it's, it's almost still, but yeah, no, that makes sense for the video. But uh, wow, there's some nice pieces in there, and yeah, the colour contrast, absolutely gorgeous. We are having a bit of a heat wave in Melbourne, so hammers are a bit sensitive, and they're being a bit laggy with. Um, the tank's got a bit warm for them, I think. For sure. Um, yeah, it's they'll ironic. be okay. They'll bounce back. It's just going to take them. And they're not at their full self. Normally, you can't see in between them. It's just a wall. Well, I mean, we're only... We're, we're in like an hour before opening. And uh, I know you've popped in to turn the lights on. But um, these, these are still, you know, early into their light cycle and are still absolutely popping. So I can imagine when it's not the third straight 40 degree day, and uh, the lights have been on for a good six, seven hours. These things would be filling every square inch of the uh, tank. And uh, what a beautiful collection there is in there. And just a few basic fish in there, just to give a little bit of extra movement. Some clowns, yellow line cardinals, pajama yeah, cardinals. A little bit of poo for the, for the hammers. <laughs> a little bit of nutrient. And yeah. uh, your prized rainbow chalice there, just growing out absolutely beautifully. Next to our Raja. Yeah, beautiful. It's a bit of a slow go growing the chalice. Only the pretty ones. <laughs> <laughs> if it was brown, it would be growing very fast. That's it, that's it. But uh, you've got some coral sail tanks full to the brim and there's yeah. plenty to go over. So we should jump into those. Where about should we start, Jono? So we've got this ball here, which we call our SIS for just system. Yep. Um, so all these tanks you'll find are stock for sale. <laughs> Um, we've got some beautiful green bubbles, uh, some elegance, some mushrooms, signorina. Yeah, those lobos are really nice. Yeah, that, look at that lobo, man. Yeah. Oh, color on that is as bright as it gets. Nice big showpiece. I should say that tank's also online. It's just overflow from online. We've got a lot yeah, on nice, at the moment, nice. about 700 pieces. As you can see here, all these are online. Aquamarine, aquaristic.com.au. So yeah, you want to... See if you can secure something like that showpiece right there for your tank. You know where to go. It's actually a reindeer. Can you see that on the video? <laughs> see to use a uh, Christmas yeah, right. post. Yeah, bit of a reindeer. Um, this is our bargain tank at the moment. We've got a really good deal on some Alveos and some cheaper gonies. Yeah. So they range from $20 to $40, but you can, I can do deals like buy two plus and um, knock 10 bucks off. Beautiful. So like for the pink alveos, I'm doing $30 each if you buy two or more. Uh, Gonnie's here, $20, $40. Wow. So there's plenty of deals going on at the moment in stores, while well as free piece. spins of the wheel. Incredible deals. That's that's cheap. And I mean, these are not tiny little pieces. These are big no, Gonnie's. they're decent. I can I'll show you some. Yeah. yeah, that's a solid size piece. It's going to close the moment I pick it up. Of but course, but even with the extensions reduced, look at that. It's a monster. And then the alveos are quite big too. Like, so we've obviously chopped down the pinks. The better color ones are a bit smaller. Yep. Um, but you could pick up pretty good deals. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, 30 bucks. 30 bucks for an like alveo that. that size. Yeah, good deal. Very good deal. Yeah, absolute bargains to be had there. Um, we've got some more coral that's online here. So our Hulk torch, yeah, some hammers, uh, some gold hammers there. Yellow hammer, like the toxic greens. Definitely, yeah. This guy here, coral, yeah. very nice, bright color. Um, they've been here for a long time too. So they were originally one big bit that we've fragged up. Yep. So they've healed over and also um, showing some good signs of growth. Yeah, oh, that looks. As so they're ready to go. Healthy as a daisy, that guy. The beautiful pattern on it, nice extension. Look at the color contrast between these two. That's a combo. Someone's got to pick up and sit next to each other. And then I noticed this guy at the back here, the yellow stem. Oh yeah, we've got a fair few gold stems hanging around. Yeah, beautiful piece. Nice, um, nice high end hammer there, that's for sure. And then we got some more stock down here, some soft corals. Uh, two plus, $40. Wow. Um, some mixed encrusting corals there. $30 and $60, some lobos. Gorgeous pieces. Trying to keep it nice and cheap for our customers at the moment, everybody's Everybody's hurting, so 
Yeah, I mean, um, you guys have long been renowned for having the showstopper, ultra high end, crazy stuff. But I mean, reality is that that's as cool as that is. That's a that's a small percentage of the market. Yeah. Um, majority of us, myself, is not excluded. We can't be buying ball of corals every day of the week. You know, you need, and, and not to mention that it's not just whether you can afford it. Sometimes you need some basic pieces to make your ball of corals really pop too. It's just like you put the, the gold next to the green, it looks gold. Or, exactly, exactly. Um, you get the colors really showcasing each other. Good contrast as well. So yeah, it's awesome to see that you guys have got the crazy high-end stuff. You've also got heaps of options of super affordable stuff. So reefers of any budget can come in here and walk out with a, with a good deal and something that's gonna make their tank look awesome. Speaking of deals, we've got large frog spawn for 60 bucks. Yeah, you can't go uh, too wrong with, with that. Have a look at that. They're yeah. big pieces. Look at these guys. Absolute monsters at 60 bucks each. That's going to fill a big hole in someone's tank. That's, um, yeah, really nice. And then even these torch, yeah. 35 a head for some really nice torch. Yeah. We've got a whole pile of them single heads that um, we'll see very shortly. Yeah, beautiful. And then down here, you've got some nice softies too. I only sort of started the first half of this tank, but... Some really nice, these have been super popular um, around the, the traps lately, the leather corals and things like that. Yeah, people, people have been really searching for them. Um, it's probably been our best seller this weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's funny, good. I see a lot of people setting up soft coral tanks now and going for that sort of low maintenance setup. And um, I mean, I gotta say that, I mean, looking at the price of these guys, like $50 each, or if you get two or more, they're $40 each. And they're big pieces, they're bright, they have movement, they've got color, they grow easily, you can frag them up. What's not to love? Yeah, the, the big clothes, but they have the really long extension. Yeah, ones I think, yeah, so really, gorgeous. Really nice. I can't complain with that at all. Blastos, Zoas, and encrusting corals here. So, um, any frag of Zoas for thirty dollars. Wow, plenty of juicy bits in here. Those blastos, nice and fat. Good colours, good varieties, and um, yeah, plenty to pick from there. And then. Good assortment of Zoas there. Nice bright guys. And you've got some cool pieces back there. I'm assuming growing out, those big Montes back oh, there. Oh no, they're for sale, yeah, they're for sale. They're for sale, nice, available. And these pieces on the big tiles here, what are, what? It's a maize coral. Yeah, nice. Um, funny enough, I fragged that probably in my first week here. Okay, yep, and yep. Three years ago now, and uh, I just liked it with the, the contrasting of colors. Um, so I've just brought them out now. Yeah, no, they so, look great. I don't know what they're worth, but I love them, so. <laughs> they're a pretty Hopefully piece. somebody else loves them as much they as give, I do. They give a great contrast. And uh, yeah, these encrusting pieces here, as you can see, encrusting onto the uh, racks here. In fact, they're pretty much all are. You see, those bits are gonna be a little bit of a challenge to lift up, but uh, <laughs> yeah. they're looking great. And then I also spotted another one of uh, my favorite pieces that you guys have here, is an awesome assortment of galaxias. Mm. Some nice frags there, got real nice color in some of those. And I know they could be stingy, a bit aggressive, but um, what a cool coral nonetheless. We got some big branching bits over there. <laughs> big bits to come. Uh, hammers, so you were looking at some gold stems. There's plenty of gold stems in uh, Holy dooly. In here, we got the gold stems for 200 bucks each. Lovely. And golds and like these like goldy tip with like a yeah, yeah. The green. Yeah, they've got a bit of a marbling through them. There's a bit of green, a bit of pink, and then yeah, here's these gold stems in here. Gorgeous pieces and- Those greens, those big bits, they're like 50 bucks each. Yep, $40, yep. $40, $50. Very affordable $40 pieces. $40 for the reverse. And then the oranges range from 80 to 100 for the smaller ones. Yep. And then and where, we're, where we're looking. Up to, to the 250. Up to 250 for the bigger yeah, ones. Which yeah, which is still not like, Talking decent size. <laughs> these are pretty big gold hammers. Uh, 250 bucks a, a piece is, uh, yeah. And, and these, all, everything in this, most of the, sorry, not the frog spawn and the softies, but everything else in this system is uh, not new. So yep. these hammers have been here for two, three months. Some of them have been chopped and we've let the flesh grow back. Yep. So they're well, well and truly acclimated to, um, to the aquarium. To tank so. life, yeah, yeah. They're ready to go. And um, yeah, just one more look at some of the colors in there because Again, we're here early and the uh, lights have only been on for a little while and these guys are full of extension, full of color, looking super healthy. Nothing in there looking upset. All nicely mounted up on tiles. So you can see they've been cut. Yep. And the flesh has grown back all yeah. the way around. Yep. yep. So. That's what you want to see. That's a good sign about our water. 
I can't important. do much about the temperature with the, the weather, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. No, everything's looking super nice and healthy. So um, yeah, one could not ask for much more than that. And you got some treasures in uh, this yeah. little system tucked away there. What have you got in there, Jono? So uh, we got some purple glitters that which you'll see next week in our uh, display that we're growing out. Yes. They're just getting ready. They're encrusting so they can go over to the, the set for sale. Gorgeous. Um, we've got some of uh, mushrooms, like some OG bounces and, and our collection of rarer bow bankies. Yeah, the I'd say they're pretty rare. Red, golds and reds. Um, and <laughs> reds, then we, golds with greens and blues and yellows all through them. It's, and like some really big orange blastos. Yeah, that's a beast. Um, what a piece. We've got frags already made of that. So. Yep, yep. So this is grow out system here. Yeah, Pieces in between. Are, in between. Yeah, yeah. So it's it, it's grow out, but for sale, some things are encrusting. It's like they're not quite ready. Yep, yep. And then they get moved around or go online. Yes. And we've got a bit of customer coral in there that has had a bit of trouble. Yeah, um, they've got some nice what, coral, i got to say, so you're doing well on. to maintain those for them. Some beautiful pieces in there. Yeah, and that's their, their big OG bounce, which um, is tempting not to cut at that size. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not Great. mine, so I better not. What about these nice uh, Rhodactus you got up there? Yeah, so that's our grow out. I call them the yeah. starfish Rhodactus. Kind of looks like there's a starfish Yeah, yeah, they're gorgeous. On it. Beautiful These pieces. littler ones will probably show it off a little bit more. Yeah, really um, get the colour and the pattern like on there. Like that stripe, that looks yeah, like a starfish. Yeah. Super nice, yeah, they got that yeah, almost five-legged pattern on them. Yeah, like Persian rug or sort of thing. They look great. Um, so this is where our frags are produced just here. Yep. So all our frags are here. There's a lot of new colonies in here. This was actually half, three quarters emptied. Wow. Um, and put into the display. Okay. We also had some issues. Um, we had some high nitrates and that, so um, I'm not prone to not having issues in the store. Yep. Um, and I'm always, None of us are. I'm always honest with people that, you know, uh, yeah, we all make mistakes. At the end of the day, it makes a, and, makes a hardy frag too. If it, it's always a little nerve wracking if something's come out of a, you know, a system that's never seen a blip in the radar, where if something, you know, it's gone through some hard yards, it gives them a bit of, uh, yeah. you know, a bit of resilience, I guess. Um, so yeah, so hopefully some really good bits come out of um, this tank going forward and all our classic signatures and that, um, they moved out of here and they went obviously into the new display and, and the three meter display there. Yes. Um, we also got some fish, um, just standard stuff, some anthias, some tangs, some bird nose, wantanabis, nothing too special. We don't, we don't go too much on the fish, but some stripe is there for some aptasia. Yeah, for We just sure. keep the basic stuff that people might be chasing. Yep. We mainly yep. focus on the coral. What about this? Uh, mangrove. Mangrove, that's the word I'm chasing. Um, tried that's... so many times to acclimate them and get them to grow in, in, in 35 PPT. It is tricky, hey. But they this... do seem to do much better actually in fresh water or even just a little bit of salt, but. Yeah. Uh... So we give it a spray every now and then and it's got yep. the, the kessel on, on it. Yes, you've um, actually got its own dedicated little kessel up there just to light it up, but it's a, that's a nice long mangrove. I've not seen them that long. Three years. Yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> So yeah. very slow growing. Someone told me they grow 20 centimeters or something a year. Yep. So not much at all. Um, it's, it's but yeah, there. I would never sell that. It's uh, the only one out of like 20 that I've tried. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Now, we enter into a world of frags. Yes, yeah, a world of frags. So approximately about a thousand frags. Wow. Uh, ready to go and cut up. Some are freshly cut. Obviously, we have to constantly be cutting up because we sell so many frags. Yes. Uh, for example, in November, if everyone remembers our sale, we sold two and a half thousand frags. Wow. Um, which was a lot more than I expected, which did <laughs> knock us back. And I probably shouldn't have sold that many, but you can't knock it back. You can't knock it back. And look, here you are now, a few months later, and you've got yeah, there's a lot of key lines. Frags ready to go. <laughs> a lot of key lines that are still have to grow. Yes. Um, next week we'll show you in the display. There's a lot of things that are cut down and just don't grow fast enough. Yes. Um, so a lot of this stuff would be this year's models. Yep. Um, everything new stuff that's like six to twelve months old from like the end of last year. Yeah. That are coming through now. Yeah. Nice. Um, no names yet, but when I do name them price will go up. <laughs> so now's your chance to grab them before they get named and the price rise. Yeah, well, every time, you know, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, every time they go up a Gen, the price goes up and they get hardier and yeah, better colours. And if you want to take a risk at a, a Gen 1 rather than a Gen 2, you're going to get it for a better price. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. For sure. And you guys, 
run this numbering system on your frags so that you can keep track of the images you've got online so people can literally buy the piece and then yeah. when you come to bag it up you're getting that exact piece it helps us but also helps you um, sometimes it can be a bit annoying asking every single frag what's what's that price what's that price yes um, and it's hard for us to also individually price things or some things go up in price or down in price of course you um, can imagine the yeah the overhead of keeping each piece with its uh with its numbered tag but um, for example 247 is one of our newer ones beautiful i think that's like 60 dollars yep the orange and green lovely yeah, very well priced very nice um, we also got like some Pikachu, Pikachu types, not quite Pikachu, but yep. some yellows, 309. Lovely. It's a bit of an example of what we'll be taking to uh, Fragorama. Definitely. Um, some big cherry bombs. So these are well and truly grown out for you, ready for them to shoot. You can see the shoots flying. Yeah, yeah you're struggling um, to see the tile there. That boy is uh, well grown in. And when things are cut, they take about three months to after they encrust to really keep encrusting and then start shooting up. Yep. So if you're buying fresh cut, it's going to be a bit cheaper, but it's going to take longer for, you, for it yeah, to of course. take off. Of course. But if you're buying a, a frag like that, put it in, it's going, to, it's going to shoot off pretty quick. Yep. But there's some really, really nice stuff in here. Um, yeah. No, they look great. All sorts of colors, types in there from, uh, I see the Walt Disney's in there. Uh, TNTs, some, as you say, some uh, yellow Pikachu-esque pieces, cherry bombs, and no shortage of ones that are currently no name, but uh, does not mean that they're any less spectacular. Some beautiful blues, greens, pinks, plenty of gorgeous coral in there. And yeah, nicely encrusted. These guys obviously on the site ready to go. They've got the numbers on them. Or yeah, put your request in and see them at Fragorama. Yeah, well, if Fragorama was tomorrow, I'd be picking up this and... <laughs> Just loading those out. trays in the esky and off yeah. you go. The most ready ones, they, they pretty much all go online. Yeah. Um, there's these ones here, but I go through there weekly whenever I do an upload, pick the best ones that are yep. looking healthiest, most encrusted. Yes. And um, chuck them online, so it's kind of like... Um, inventory in them sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. You've got your progress from your uh, fresh cut like these guys here. Um, these guys, yeah, probably cut in the last week or two, and then uh, they progress into, I mean, you can almost tell by the color of the tiles once they mature a little bit, get a little bit of uh, Coraline and stuff growing on there, and then they're uh, selected from there. Once they've started the cross, you can see some of these guys over here got great encrusting. They'll then move over, get allocated a number, put on the website, and they're ready to go. And we don't just, when we upload like 50 to 100 frags, we don't just upload them. We clean all the plugs yep. and all the, not all the plugs, all the tags. Yep and we re-update all the photos yeah, right. of the whole thing because they're yep. forever changing and growing. Yes. So every couple of weeks we're doing that. So a lot of work is put into this little section. Yep. Probably the most amount of work in the shop. So cleaning tags and retaking photos every week or two. And it's a passion. <laughs> it's, a, it's a job of love. Yeah, so. <laughs> you got some stunning pieces down here too. Some nice Montes. You got yep. the uh, tickled pink here. All their Montes are online as well. Yeah, nice. Nice collection there that are uh, well grown in, some nice rainbow. I know people are always chasing rainbow Monty. Plenty of reds, greens, looking great. And then, oh yeah, you got some of the uh, uh, Danae, the gold there, Phoenix, yep. Beautiful pieces. But uh, there's, yeah, there's a good couple thousand pieces in there, so uh, can't go through them all, but <laughs> you can get a good overview as to just how many there are in there. Um, so this is our new stock. Yeah, A nice. little bit over there, but all here and it's wow. all online and ready to go. Um, I've made them super, super cheap, as cheap as possible uh, for the moment. Like the hammers are 35 to 300. Wow. Um, some really large bits in there, but the gold stems are probably the most expensive, about 200, but and everything else is about 45, 60 bucks in there. Yep. Um, you can get some big bits and some smaller bits. There's some stunners in there and you've got these, yeah, this section here is super, super nice. You've got this uh, yellow, is it a frog spawn or a crustata or whatever that they call those? That is a frammer. It's a frammer. gold frammer. Yeah, nice. It's a little bit of gold stem, I think not much, but yep. it's, it's that gold tip, um, super rare. Uh, this guy's 200 yep. for you know, quite a size. Decent size, and then and that the monster. Big, the big toxic. Big, well, They say yellow, bright. but it's, it's, it's green. Yeah, look, it's, you, green. It's, it's a highlight of green. I mean, you can compare like, 
green, so I guess just get my finger on screen there. Green there, that's that's what most people call a, a toxic highlighter green. And then, yeah, so I can understand why people would call that yellow, but yeah, it's a it's a shade of green. It's a light green. Uh, for <laughs> 600 bucks, I think that's a, a bargain. Um, COVID prices would have been about 1500 bucks, I think they were up at, Yeah. Um, for that size, so. Um, no, it's a stunning piece. It's a, actually a really good, well, it's good time to be buying coral because everything's <laughs> quite cheap. I've been noticing the prices have been coming down. Yes. Um, yeah. And, and apart from the show pieces, like these pieces in here that range from $35 upwards, there are some stunners in here. Um, I know, yeah, we talk about the gold stems obviously being a little bit more expensive, but have a look at some of these. Uh, look at the marbling on this guy up here. Just yellow and purple, just just swirling through it there. Then you've got some nice reverse stems, some nice blotches. This little frag doesn't have much color at the moment. It's a bit washed out. Yes. Um, in front of that orange. Yeah, yeah. But I can see that probably gonna have orange tips, maybe a bit of color stem. Definitely. 50 bucks. Yeah, that's You take a, a chance on that to color it up and you could be a winner. I think you would be hard pressed not to be a winner with that. That's um, a great collection of hammers there at great pricing. Um, some of our Goni frags are online, the same, same as up there. Yes. Um, so we got the branching Galaxia. Yeah, yeah wow. That, uh, I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the price, but they're not much. I think they're 80 bucks. Yep, yep. Um, if they're more than that, hit me up, 80 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it now. <laughs> the Parker's Reef special price, $80, <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, they're, they're a big piece, so, and we know they do like to sting, so you just got to uh, give them a little bit of space, but uh, such a unique coral, and um, I, I've got a soft spot for them. I think they're really cool. And yeah, here's the gonies we talked about. When you see them, I mean, it, it, they almost do themselves injustice in that tank at the front because there are so many ridiculously nice gonies that <laughs> they almost compete with each other for your eye's attention. But uh, you get a nice little uh, collection of, say, I don't know, what have you got, about uh, 16 or so in there, and Man, yeah. they look killer. If you want to grow gonies, think of growing acro. Yes. So they exactly the same. You think of goni, you should think of acropora, but they don't look the best yep. under those lights. That's why it's very like very bright over there, very, lots of flow. Yes. They're going to grow, and you're going to get bigger frags. Here, it's more for show. Yep. So they're showing. They're bigger, duller light. They're going to show more. Yep. Um, but if you leave them like in low light like this for too long, they're actually dull in color. So if, yeah, you're, getting, right. if you're getting dull colors with your gonies, light them up. Yeah, light them up. Yeah. Yeah, That's nice. why they do so well with Acro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Blastos here, we've got the, like, the Galaxy Blastos, full reds. We've got the, what they call gold teeth or grilled yep. uh, Blasto and a unique bluey one at the back. Uh, yeah. $45 to $150. Nothing is over $150 in there for those massive colonies of... Uh, You're talking for the price for the colony, not per head. Yeah, for the colony. Um, for example, those reds, if we frag them up, we sell for about... 20, 30 a polyp, so yep, yep. 150 bucks is a steal. Deals to be out there. What about this cool dude down here over the front? Uh, yeah, $45 for that wow, one. Wow, cheap. And these ones, next door on the left, is the like the galaxy ones they call them. Yep. They kind of look like a, the Milky Way. Yeah, $45 yeah. $45 as well. Crazy nice. Very, very nice Blastos at a very, very you nice price. You missed my... Oh, my, my combination piece. Missed your special piece. Uh, maybe I'm weird, but I like I like <laughs> combination pieces where you get two corals together. So you got the orange signorina with a little bit of a soft coral there. Yeah, yeah. Growing naturally on the one piece of rock. Always cool. No, it looks cool. And then th these nice pieces up here got some good contrast to the green and pink in them as well. Yeah, it's a Favia moonstone. Not so popular in Australia, but... Um, no, it's funny how we don't have the same uh, trends always. I mean, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. And yeah, it's... If you cut them up, put them on a tile and they get that encrusting, they look really... Look really they nice. They look really neat and I think that's the trick. Nice. All right. Now, I believe you've got even more systems to go. We've gone from absolute uh, sea of frags there from tanks of corals after corals at the front of the store. Then we move on to the brand new Euphilia and Blastos. And well, not all brand new, but a lot of the new pieces in here. Yeah, it's the online tank. Online tank. We call it the online tank. There's even more to come. You guys have got just endless amounts here. Plenty of dry goods. Yeah. Uh, yeah we do our own stuff like Red Sea Cove. I've, I've gone through that with you in the past. Yeah. Um, Plenty of stock. It's there. nice and full with Coral Essentials, Aquaforest. Plenty of the new ICP tests. I think they're oh, yep. either 25 times more sensitive or something. Yep, yep. plenty and of now, the Tritons. Yeah, and now they they do a few more elements, they said. I think it's fluoride, chlorine, and salinity. Yep, yeah. yep. Triton have stepped up their game yet again. Heaps. Continue to be an um, industry leader in ICP. Um, 
Yeah, heaps and heaps of those there. And um, Wave Makers and our CO2 media. Beautiful, um, beautiful. We're not here for that. <laughs> We're here to look at some beautiful cheap coral. Exactly. Um, so yeah, chalice. I mean, yeah. these are export grade chalice. You got the, let me show you a few of these because they're quite special. So you got the dragon eye Yeah. I got $100 on that. Yeah, right, nice. Your American viewers will be flipping out really, <laughs> really angry right now. $100 Australian. Um, this is the afterburner. Yep. Sort of the nice pink eye, blue. Yep. Um, base, but there's just some nice orange ones. I think it's like sixty or eighty dollars. Yeah, beautiful. Um, bubble gum. Stunner. Yeah. The gold eyes on this pink one. I mean, a chalice after chalice mm -hmm. from our supplies, where we're well known for getting the chalice. Look at this gold. I mean, it's more blue than gold. Yeah, yeah. It's like a gold afterburner. <laughs> Crazy and nice. There's pink and gold, and there's some cheap ones. Forty-five bucks. Beautiful. No shortage of nice pieces in there. Um, and big bits too. So you have after some big chalice, eighty dollars, you're getting you know decent sized chalice. Big monster piece. Yep. Yep. Our gonies, which took a little bit more time than I like to have opened, so they didn't make the upload. Um, same as the Signorinas next time. They didn't make this upload, but I will be updating the website before this video comes out with those. So All good, if you're yeah. after a, some red gonies, hundred, two hundred, and the purples are sixty, green sixty. And we say red gonies, but. Holy shit, look at the colour of them. <laughs> they are bright, yeah, they really, They're not really just bright. red, their eyeball melting red, um, they are bright. I would say maybe hot pink, maybe, yeah. but I will go with red. Yeah, they're, they're a good sized piece, and yeah, there's no shortage of colour in those at all. Bird Nose Rass wants to come in and say hi, but um, yeah, very, very bright. And then, yeah. Signorinas for 40, nice cheapies. We got some... Um, very some nice. reds which we'll see very shortly sure sure some nice bubble corals there too the nice uh, grape bubbles the small yeah so this is the new we had a lot of these bubbles they all sold out everyone's going mad for these these are uh, green with gold blotch yep. or yep probably can't quite see it on this one it's a bit of the, the last one <laughs> no no there, <laughs> there were some really really nice ones uh, i'll put a uh, picture of it on our yep. on, on the facebook sure um it was a what is this guess sort of thing yes yes and he's more of the torch that we're talking about so a lot of these are single or double head that are online wow so 35 to 70 dollars so 70 dollars is obviously the the two heads yes um, and this large bit over here that's six heads it's 200 dollars for like this pink tip crazy cheap large piece yeah that's real nice halio fungia i love a helio i think they're um totally underrated coral Tiny's $25. Yep. Medium's yep. 30. And the largest ones you see there are $80. Yeah. Um, Fungus. Right. Um, there's like an acid swirl one you've probably just seen come yeah. on the camera now. He looks cool. My is. personal favorite. Um, Fungus from here started about $10, $15. Yep. The acid swirl ones are $100 and everything else around yeah, 20. Yeah. The orange about 30 bucks. Nice showpiece coral though for not a lot of money. Can't yeah, argue yeah. with that at all. Yeah, um, and we've got some wild, I guess, wild uh, SPS or some SPS that we wanted to move on. Yep. Um, they start off at uh, the brand new ones where you get the pick of the litter. Yep. They start off at 100 each or three plus for $80 each. Nice. And then what happens after that is we, yeah, they come down in price longer they sit, which is actually better for you because the colors probably become more truer. Yeah, sure. Um, come down now, just there's a little bit of separation. It goes down to 60 or yep. three plus for fifty dollars each, five plus for forty bucks each. These are good sized pieces too. These, we, I mean, we've mentioned our American viewers in this channel a few times, but uh, big wild Aussie colonies of <laughs> SPS like that for the price we're talking is. And the uh, last ones I discounted even more, thirty bucks, down, <laughs> yeah, and then down yeah, to right. fifteen if you buy more. Wow. Wow, um, super, super cheap. And some more torch there, some larger ones that didn't make it online. <laughs> Just waiting in line for their chance at the uh, upload on the website. Very, um, very nice. RBTAs, 50 bucks each. And you guys, got, you got some real nice bubble on those too. I know sometimes they can uh, stretch out and whatnot, but they've managed to hold their bubbles and yeah, look as bright as they can in there. They look fantastic. They're nice small size, actually, them ones. Yeah, no, they're they all look about great. 20 cent piece, which is quite nice. 
And you've got some pretty cool uh, anemones in here from uh, some nice pink tips and then over into, is this one a little bit special over here in the corner? Yeah, like a, well, it's like a wild rose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. And then I love this uh, pizza big, anemone. big green pizza nem up there. Yeah. He looks nice and bright and um, shame he's gone for the overflow. <laughs> he could settle down here on the rock. He's just under the overflow so he could stay for now if he likes it. There. <laughs> uh, just makes it difficult for me to get him on camera. But then you've also got a nice uh, blue over there in the corner too. Yeah, blue uh, Mini Maxi there. Yeah. Um, what's the Mini Maxi worth? 500 bucks. He's a decent size for a Mini Maxi too. I'd yeah. say he's more Maxi Maxi than uh, Mini Maxi. Probably gonna get maybe a better, better angle over there. the side, I reckon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's a good size piece. Really nice color. And then uh, some shrimp I haven't seen for a little while. Some yeah. uh, hingeback shrimp. So I personally brought them as a, an experiment. Yep. Um, later on, I will be releasing a little bit of a video when I am sure myself, but I've been playing a little bit with these guys in pest control. Yep. Um, what I have found is they do eat coral, as, <laughs> as they say. But so far, the 100% of the time, if you put something in there that we get from, from the supplier that has flatworm, yep. um, they'll, they'll eat the eggs, yes. they'll eat the flatworm, they'll completely clean it. Um, if you don't feed them after that, a couple of days later, they start on the coral. Sure. So, a um, bit of a hit and miss there, but... Yep. Um, no, but I mean, yeah. you can say the same thing about a dip. You, if you leave the coral on the dip, it's going to die as well. Yeah, well, the experience <laughs> with, with flatworm is everyone's like, nothing gets yeah, rid of the yeah. eggs. So, yep. maybe if you have a little hospital tank or something, you can put them in there. Sure. Um, maybe two quarantines, you can kind of put the new coral in there for a couple of days, let yep. it clean it up, and then move it. Move it thing on. Over, if you see some more, you can put it back. Yes. I'm not too sure, but... Just a bit of an experiment, experiment with them. So, so they're not so they're good. not for sale, but if you really want. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're, they're just still in the experiment phase, but uh, yeah, yeah, cool to see nonetheless. And they are active, active boys. And then uh, hiding below that tank, you've got uh, just a little candy shop down there. Yeah, this is our low light, I call the protection tank. Yep. Um, everything in here is delicious colours, but also delicious to all the animals. Yeah. Okay. Um, peppermints, <laughs> uh, even uh, bristle tooth copper bands, most tangs, they all nip, seem to be nipping the signorinas and, and dash. Yep. Um, so there's nothing in here. There's no other animal, just the coral. Just coral, water, light. And it's been it's been a lot better. <laughs> well, they're looking pretty nice and healthy in there. And um, yeah, wow, you got some crazy colored dash. These, uh, you guys are pretty famous for these uh, gold, uh, Signorinas there, and then you got that uh, big multi-head piece back there. Nice little assortment of uh, scolomia in there. Heaps of uh, red cushions, of course, and then yeah, some really juicy acans at the end there. Even this green striped one's very nice indeed. And the big monster back there, enjoying the low light. But yeah, there's some nice pieces. Cool some plumbing and some water that's it easy as that so yeah you guys carry a good assortment of plumbing now so um yeah people looking to change up their manifolds on their tanks or set up a new tank you can sort them out with all of that there yeah we've got everything you need yeah, it's yeah been amazing. amazing well that's a huge assortment of coral dry goods even a decent amount of fishing at the moment so um yeah i recommend anyone that is in the area to swing on by because not only get to do you get to see all of these pieces in person and hand pick but you also then get to spin the wheel and have a chat to Jono and um, see if you can talk him into a deal on a few, uh, if you want to load up a box worth of coral, I'm sure uh, the team here will look after you. So um, yeah, I want to thank you very much for making it possible for me to come in here uh, outside of business hours um, where we can film uninterrupted and um, also for the opportunity next week to uh, go into a deep dive on those incredible display tanks that I know I've covered a couple times before, but um, they keep evolving and they keep shifting and um, there's, there's new corals to show, there's new methodologies, new equipment. So really look forward to seeing that video next week. Cool. Thanks, Sam. Cheers. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the tour of Aquamarine Aquaristic. Now, for those of you who are remotely in the area, as touched on in the video, I highly recommend you head on in store and have a good peruse through all of the corals there because 
you're actually going to be surprised at the affordability of a number of these pieces. Plus, you're going to get the opportunity to spin that wheel when you do make a purchase and maybe get yourself an extra little bonus free of charge. Now, for the rest of us who are not near the store, fear not. If you're in Australia, at least, you can jump on the aquamarine, aquaristic.com.au website and peruse all of their corals there. They have a fantastic WYSIWYG section, which has each frag numbered. So, you know, you were getting exactly the frag that you saw online getting delivered to your door. Now, I did touch on earlier in the video that next week I'll be back there. We're going to do a deep dive into that as display tanks. So if you don't want to miss out on that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner there and ensure that that bell notification is ticked. That'll just give you the heads up that the same time next week, We'll be here with that video showcasing the Aquamarine Aquaristic display tanks, the two big display tanks there, including that gorgeous three meter system the team have just set up. Other than that, guys, I don't have anything else to add. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, please pop it in the comment section down below. I do personally reply to each and every comment there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. If you've enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine, no sweat. But uh, other than that, guys, I think I will leave you with it. Till next time, stay safe, keep briefing. Cheers, bye.